Who can reconcile the gospel and politics? To see the world through both lenses, we must make the most of it. Through blood, sweat, and tears. Endurance, faith, and time. We will learn to cross over boundary lines to set people free. Worry can try to steal our hope. And grief, our peace of mind. But clenched fists have a purpose. We won't stop mid-fight. Now is the time for the church to unite. We rise to the occasion. Together, we stand. Every age, gender, and race. As one body, we take our rightful place. Brothers and sisters. Neighbors and friends. We readily wait. For our maker will do what only he can do. He is above all people. All governments. All nations. All opinions. All beliefs. His dominion and kingdom will stand forever. We trust that his ways are higher than ours. And his will always will be done. And as a nation, we now bow on our knees. Recognizing humility leads to the grace we so desperately need. We pray for wisdom. We pray for humility. And we pray for our leaders to be. May our politics be transformed by the gospel of grace.